The ghostly horseman on his champing steed sits silently inside the fomenting fog. His eyes are fastidiously fixed on the subtle movement in the bristling bushes at the edge of hell. Yonder, where the yin and yang of life surreptitiously sleep in the cosmic unconscious days to come. The horseman espies a furtive shadow, Ryanan. Somehow the witch has found him again. Danger is always lurking in a darkened corner of this nightmare he's been painting for so many centuries. Too many centuries. His breath catches in his throat. His steed rears up in immediate alacrity. The witch's whispers become thick like the fog, dull like the muted thunder of the horse's hoofs, pounding like leather mallets against the virgin soil. Ryanan treads. She has laid claim to this land, to this man and his fiendish nightmare. Ryanan approaches, strokes his cheek with her icy fingers, loving him the only way she knows how, fiercely, passionately, consumingly with a fire that burns into his stone-cold heart. Fire and ice he hasn't felt since their last encounter on the moors of Spey. They fall together inside this cluster of stars, this ebony heaven of a million eyes, bearing silent witness to the birth of love, death, life, and hatred blended with passion. Spent, they arise like smoke on the waters of life, wisping away the wind into the sky, becoming ghostly specters of a dying dream, reborn to a new universe over and over again. The ghostly horseman digs his spurs into his champing steed. He gallops away from the fading sound of Ryanan's screams. He will pass this way again. Ryanan awaits.